Spider-Man, man, that thing is people fighting in the stores and shit for that. They yeah. got Red, Red Dead 2 right now at Walmart for yeah. $23. 23 bucks. Yep. Are you serious? Yep. Yeah. Oh wow, bro. Kind of makes you kind of makes you kind of makes you be like, we should have waited. Mm-hmm. And nah, I couldn't have waited. Hell oh, no. Hey, that's true. Everybody. That's probably why fucking Rockstar's like shit. Most of the people bought the stuff anyway. You yep. know what else is on sale too? Is that Fallout 76? Yeah, that shit's like $30 now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of that, right? Fallout 76 dropped in price. Yeah. Some places have it at $35 now. That's that's insane. <laughs> it's, not even, it's not even worth that much, I don't think. Oh shit. Oh shit. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm 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 enjoying it. Mm. Um uh, yeah, I you can, know, lot, I can see why people are pissed, but you know, yeah. lot, lots of people enjoyed Sea of Thieves. I think it's just the that camaraderie hey, playing. Hey, I, I wasn't doing that. I, I didn't say it was like the best game. I'm just yeah, saying, it's a game yeah. Yeah. what it is. That's just playable. It, it's not like mm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. You know, I think because looking looking at the stuff, it's no different than any other Bethesda game. I think it's just I think people are just sick of it. Yeah. Like if you say this is the worst game in the world, is terrible, then every game before it is bad because it's yeah, it the yeah. same patches, the same issues. It needs 30 gigabytes of patches. It's yeah. always been like that. So I think yeah. now I think it's just reality, people are done. It's yeah. it's it's true, and it's funny you say that because I saw one reviewer say exactly that. He was like, you know, this made me rethink every other Bethesda game I ever reviewed. Yeah. He said, now I'm thinking we just put up with this shit way too long. Yeah, they're all forty rated games. If that's it. if if anybody believes this is a forty rated game, then everything before is forty rated because it's the same glitches, the same. Yeah, but, uh, they- but, no, 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 no. It's, it's not, but it's not just the glitches it's not just the glitches there's a lot of stuff that it's lacking that the other fallout games had mm. and they pretty much stripped this game of a lot of its core um and and that's what a lot of people are mad at because of uh, the the lies basically that todd howard said on stage he said this was going to be 80 percent still a traditional fallout game mm-hmm. it is he also said that it was going to be 16 times the detail of any other fallout game it is not oh so- so he pulled the uh, what's that do from Lionhead Studio? He put he pulled he pulled a Peter Monolu. Yep. Oh man. So damn. Okay, so we waiting for all day. Anyway, the show's live right now. So um, so let me let me welcome everybody. So my friends, my family, my fellow gamers, we are back. The boys are back in town. You know what I'm saying? We're here with 60 frames, no lag. You know, cut it up. I think it's I think it's I think it's overdue because there's a lot of podcasts just pushing a lot of bullshit. And I'm like, Jesus Christ. Like, can we like can we not push good information to gamers for once? Like, what are we doing here and stuff? But I'm glad we were able to get together. You know what I'm saying? Right now, we chatting it up with Jay Fonzarelli. What's going on, my brother? Hey man, thank you for the invite. Uh, it's all good, man. Everything's been good. I've been sick lately, but I'm um, getting back on my feet, and uh, yeah, get, gonna get back into some gaming this weekend for sure. Oh, excellent, excellent. And of course, we have the King Troll himself. You know, he was on he was on probation for a little while, but now he's back. <laughs> See, you know what I'm saying? What's going on, brother? I've been good, been good, man. It's great being back uh, on the podcast with you guys. It's been a while, but uh, we're back. And, you know, everybody kick back, relax, hit that like button, and uh, just enjoy the ride. All right. And um, we'll be expecting all day and Craig Harris shortly. Um, so they'll be jumping in. Oh, speaking of which, here we go. The man himself all day. What's up? What's up? What's good, people? Happy Thanksgiving, man. Happy Thanksgiving. How's everything with you, man? How's the family? Good, good, good. Everybody's copacetic. Everybody's good, full, trying to figure out still going to wash these fucking dishes, but. <laughs> bro, oh, you know what? It ain't you. It ain't me. <laughs> yeah, I'm hiding, bro. I'm in, my, I'm in my blue hammock. No shit, man. How's everything, bro? It's good to hear you, man. So, man, we got. Yeah, really good. Nice talking to you, bro. Awesome, man. Glad you can make it, man. That's awesome, man. The fans been waiting for this, man. All right, so we're just going to get right into it. All right, we'll start with the first topic, all right? All right. Now, the disclaimer, all right? As we all know, just a reminder, it's been a long long time since we've done this show. This show absolutely advocates for the First Amendment. Freedom of speech. 
Say what's on your mind. Hold nothing back. Because you know, you know, we're going to thrash Fallout 76 and J Dub's going to defend it. All right. So, so <laughs> <laughs> I got a lot to say about that game. Bro, bro. I'm asking to come in and kick. Here, here, he's already in the phone booth. He, he's <laughs> everybody out. He's ready. <laughs> no, no, but no, seriously. All right. So, we'll start with the first topic Sony missing E3. I think this is a, this is still a big topic. It's still huge. All right. Um, but I think I think a lot of podcasts ain't really talking what needs to be talked about E3. It's either going to be at the, from what I from what I've seen in other podcasts is one or two angles. It's either in defense of Sony or take a jab at Sony. And to me, this is actually bigger than that. It's not even a console war thing. It's a gamer thing. You know what I'm saying? So let's talk about that. Let's 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 first start off with each individual's opinion of just Sony making this um, decision. We'll start off with all day. Just give us your official opinion about. I mean, you know, been watching E3 since maybe 2003, 2002, around that area. Uh, it's very unfortunate being used to seeing Sony on that stage and being excited for the stuff they got to offer or deliver, stuff we get a sneak peek at, right? It's unfortunate. I'm not going to sit here and damage control. You know, it's fucked up. You know what I mean? So yeah, it sucks they're not going to be there, period. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, you got to be a fucking moron and drinking acid water with hot links chopped up. <laughs> they think that they don't have a fucking plan. You know what I mean? They, they're going to execute their vision some type of way. Might not be at E3, but they'll keep us updated on whatever they're doing. I'm pretty sure. So it's unfortunate, but hey, what can you do? We don't work there. So Okay. All right. Uh, Jay Fonsarelli, what's your thought? Your official thought on the decision Sony made to not show up at this year's E3? Uh, it's a lot like what all day said. You know, it sucks because they basically started um, E3 with E3, you know. Uh, 20 something years ago 24 years ago and uh now they're not going to be there it's 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 a shocker but at the same time you know even if and and i'm going to go out and say this even if it were xbox that did this i would i would still be thinking hey they've got a plan because it's the end of this generation um we know these consoles are winding down and we know that they're going to be stirring up uh you know for the new co uh, consoles and for the new games that should be coming out um, to start off, kick off the new generation. And, uh, you know, I, I think that's what it boils down to, essentially. I think that's what they're trying to do here is just, um, you know, find the right timing to announce the PS5. Um, that, that's exactly what I think they're going to be doing next next year. So, Okay. All right. And J-Dub, give us right. an official stance on the decision. Decision 2018. Just, just for the record, uh, I want to be transparent and let you guys know that I am under contract by Yoshida himself. Oh, shit. <laughs> so my answer will be tailored towards that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> <some> respect the boss. <laughs> nah, seriously. Look, I, it's, listen, uh, it sucks that they're not going to be there. It, it really does, but it also puts more pressure on them. They're going to have to deliver on whatever they come with um, for yanking out of this. Uh, this is a big risky move, um, but I think it's it's a better move for Microsoft to have the stage to themselves, right? Um, this is actually a, a big blessing for them. They have the the whole event to themselves, uh, pretty much. Um, so that's that's a big risk for Sony. Sony could lose some of the mind share that they've had build up. Uh, Microsoft could come out and kill it, which I, you know we all hope. Um, but it also, you know, it also says that this generation is over, you know, is Sony cocky? Maybe they say, look, we have nothing else left to prove the games that we have coming. They're going to be amazing. People are already in the ecosystem. We're a hundred million sold. Um, let's focus on PS five. We're going to save our little pennies since we're going broke and bankrupt and just focus on one event on our own. You know, only time can tell if it's going to be worth it, but it sucks for gaming overall because we go to see Sony and we go to see Microsoft. Uh, you know, we, we go to see them battle. And if if one of the people are not there, all all, all eyes are going to be on Microsoft. And you know, hopefully they can take that stage, deliver, and uh, and pull out a W. Now, it, <laughs> one one thing it has to, we have to talk about if uh, you know once Phil Spencer walk off that stage and people say, well. Sony won by not showing up. That is a bigger problem because now 
do they do, do either of those people have to go to E3? Will E3 become, you know, will, will it die off? Will people just hold their own events? Mm-hmm. Will that cause a trend? Mm-hmm. Been going that way for years now, right? Nintendo pulled out, they're doing their own thing. Yeah, it's around that time. But still, you know, a lot of these big publishers, they do their own thing. Do they actually really need it? Uh, people who say it, you know, look at the fact that the numbers were actually going down. Then they allowed the public to come in. It was a trade show for the supposedly investors and and other people that's out there to show see showcase some of the develop, you know, the big publisher stuff. Will will this be, you know, will next year? The year after, two years later, will we not have an E3? Will we just have all these, you know, 50 million shows that we watch a year? I don't know. Mm, okay. All right. Hey, Craig Hello. Harris, welcome Hello. aboard. Hey, what's happening, everybody? What's going on? Thank you. Thank you for the vibe. Wait, wait. You know what's crazy, bro? Think about this, right? Mm-hmm. So we got, we're going to have a, a bigger XO next year, right? At E3, when Xbox is on stage, and then we gotta suffer through. I mean, we're gonna be eating a, vi- a, a virtual turkey, bro. Like PC press conference and a Nintendo Direct showing up with one game. Oh man, mm. <laughs> what kind of E3 are we in for, man? Oh man, it's, it's gonna be interesting. Um, before we move on, before we go on to anything, Craig Harris. Um, we're talking about Sony missing out on E3. If we um, if you could give us your official stance on that decision, Sony made. Uh, I don't care. Really? I mean, it's disappointing. They've been there for twenty plus years, but um, it's um, Sony has Sony does five press conferences. If you include CES, they all go to PAX East, PAX West, PAX Upside Down. There's a ton of there's a ton of places to go to uh, conferences. So it's disappointing. Traditionally, that's where you go to make your big announcements, but um, that's just not what a lot of people are doing anymore. Um, and it uh, looks like they're going to join suit. Now, they may go back next year. Who knows? They may say, oh, we got a bunch of stuff this year or next year. But uh, it doesn't, it doesn't, I don't care. I just, I'm really, Microsoft's already lost because more people are talking about Sony not being there than they are about Microsoft being there next year. So, I mean, that's, I mean, if you look at it as far as a media thing, there's more media about Sony not going. All right. So yeah, I think so too, Craig. I, I, I agree with a lot of what you're saying, man. Because um, it, it, it's the Super Bowl of gaming, essentially. It's it's for us, the gamers, to to rally around our TVs and monitors every year and watch the show. And without arguably the biggest show there is, um, it's it's going to be lackluster. Um, and and I disagree with you, Kratos, when you say that um, this is a good thing for Microsoft. <sighs> Man, on one hand, I would agree with that if Microsoft ha- has had a gr- good track record this generation, but they haven't. And I think that this could ultimately be a-, a total failure for Microsoft because part of me thinks that they might not put their best foot forward on this. Because if you think about it, they I mean, go if, out there and push Game Pass. Yeah, yeah it, it's the end of, gener- end of the generation. They're not going to show you anything with the Scarlet or whatever. So what I really think that's going to happen, and I've gotten a lot of flack for saying this on other podcasts, but I'm going to go ahead and say it again. What I think is going to happen is they're going to push Game Pass like all day said, and they're going to announce they're going to announce their new streaming console, and they're going to show that. That's it, and that's going to help push Game Pass. I, I really don't think they're going to show anything uh, new uh, for that matter. I think they're going to show some Gears 5 like we all expect and a couple other games that we've already heard about. But no new IPs, no, nothing crazy, nothing to really catapult them forward, nothing that Sony really has to worry about at the end of the day. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Do, you, do, you think, do you think that Sony is setting them up? You know, they're like, look, well, in we- a way, yeah, bro. Yeah. Hell yeah, I do. I, I I I see this all day. I see, I see Sony coming out in let's say September and announcing the uh, PS5 and showing a couple of new IPs with it. And guess what? It's dropping March 2020. I can totally see that. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> so can yeah. I ask, can I ask you a gentleman a question? So just to, to play devil's advocate, you know, as soon as you know when it became official that Sony was dropping out of E3, that's when all the conversations was happening about. Um, 
shout out to the me move on shout out to Stuart Stokes thank you for the super chat he says so a rumored PS exclusive called Project Agent got cancelled a game that had no trailer now Xbox are saying this is the worst cancellation than Scalebound did anybody hear anything about that I guess Agent <laughs> Agent was that Rockstar game I, I heard about it. I heard about so it. I guess they cancelled the trademark yeah the trademark didn't get renewed so people are speculating so but right. you know, we, we you know, can talk more about that later. Here's, here's the thing about Agent, though, because um, I read somebody said that uh, Xbox dudes are running around saying that this is worse than the cancellation of uh, Scalebound. And I say, yeah, okay. hell no, not, because PlayStation has a lot of games, a lot of IPs out there that they can rely on. And even if this wasn't it got canceled, it wasn't pushed out there every year at E3, getting people hyped up. So, yeah, I'm gonna tell you, Scalebound, Scalebound, they had the game at E3. They even played the multiplayer portion, right? Yeah. So, the picture, so this was June 2016. So, June 2016, they show it on stage. They show four player co op, right? Then in January, after the holiday season, they tell the world is canceled when people bought their consoles already. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. I bought mine for that. that. That alone, you know, you know. Yeah, so yeah, come on. There, there was, I mean, it's not, I'm not saying a lot, but there was a few people that said they bought the console because of Scale Mound. They were pushing Scale Mound. There's a few, you know, because RPGs and stuff like that. It looked, yeah. it, the game looked great. You yeah. know, after it got canceled, that's when it became terrible. You know, that's when everybody tells the truth, you know, or, or their opinion, you know, oh, this yeah. game looked terrible. But yet, Crackdown 3 looked great for the last four years. Bro, it's just I come on. Man. Remember, I remember them pushing Scalebound hard just weeks before they canceled it. Yeah, yeah. And then, and then when that E three demo of the four player co op came out, people were excited. I, even I was like, I was like, oh shit, this game has co op. Cool. Yeah. Well, he, he, the thing about Scalebound, right? The reason why people were looking forward to it because it was a Western RPG in the likes of some of the old RPG action RPGs. That people enjoyed on the PlayStation for, uh, platform, but now it was coming on Xbox. So now that gave, you know, believe it or not, there are a lot of Xbox guys that love the games that PlayStation have. Yeah, look at the Final Fantasy series. They, they just want to play it on Xbox. Exactly, they just want to play. You know, it on look Xbox. at Neon Armada. Exactly, exactly. Look at all. Look, so, yeah. We can bring up game after game after yeah. game. So you do have people, all right? Yeah. So, but that was good. To appreciate Stuart Stokes for the info. Um, we'll talk more about it later on. Yeah, what is uh, Project Agent? I agree with. Well, it was it was it was a rock star. Um, uh, it was announced during the PS3 era. Um, it was a rock star title. It was supposed to be a rock star exclusive for PlayStation, and it was because um Sony and Rockstar we we negotiated the the timed exclusive deal with Grand Theft Auto 4. So because play, PlayStation 3 wasn't selling too well, Rockstar yeah. wasn't comfortable launching um, Grand Theft Auto 4 first on PlayStation 3 and then a year later on Xbox 360 when it was the 360 at the time selling the most games. You know, mo the most games was being bought yeah. on 360. So Sony's like, okay, we'll, we'll move this one and we'll start a new deal. And that new deal was the agent. So I don't think it was a full exclusive. It was probably would have been timed. same scenario, time, but Sony gets right. first dibs at it. Um, but if this trademark's canceled, it could be mean the IP or whatever Rockstar had planned. They probably canceled it. Uh, and who knows? Yeah. They'll probably be negotiating another deal. Yeah, I mean, good. Yeah, I don't, I, I'm, I'm trying. All right, I'm just trying to wrap my head around it. Why is it even news? I mean, IPs get canceled all the time. Probably somebody found an article that says the trademark agent got canceled and now they're blowing it up, you know, because they, they got to find something to equal the level of scale bomb. Yeah. Oh, because yeah, that well, was damaging. The scale bomb was huge. That yeah. was probably it was it was huge. That blowback was huge. Oh, yeah, a lot of people hurt. had enough of Microsoft's bullshit. And then you coupled with what happened after, because now we could reflect on post 2016. Microsoft didn't have a lot of games for Xbox. It just wasn't yeah. there. You know, and the few games that it did have ended up being mediocre. You know, do, now yeah. do, do do Microsoft own the IP Scalebound? They bought. Uh, it, or they is that I think they own the IP trademark. Yeah. Yes, yeah. yeah. Do you I, guys think resurrect that with another studio? Now that they yeah. have, their they studio? could resurrect it, but you know the game was made by Platinum, so, so who knows how 
it will turn out under somebody else's hand. Maybe Heavenly Sword, maybe the guys who make uh, these do the Ninja Theory, maybe. Yeah, could take it, it over. They could take it over. They make great action type games. Yeah, it, it put it right. It can't be any worse than how it ended up anyway. Uh, for your just is better. Like I said, better to be a delayed game than a canceled game. Facts. You know, that's just how it is. Cancel none, bro. Yeah. So quick, quick. So going back to E3. So so to mm -hmm. going back to E3. I want to ask you a question, right? So with this announcement, everybody's mm -hmm. talking about how E3 is dying down. People are moving away. Yada yada yada. You know all that stuff. Comments that you guys made, right? Here's yeah. my question: Before the Sony E3, when did that conversation happen? Because the last E3, none of us was talking about that. If anything, there was a huge week long, hell, a month long battle of who had the mm -hmm. best E3. Between the big three, right? right. Yeah. And I remember after June's MPD, when Microsoft, you know, when Xbox came out in last place, people brought up E3 again. Like, oh, so much for Microsoft winning E3, can't even outsell the Switch and, yeah. and PlayStation. So when did this conversation happen of E3 not being as relevant as before? Because I don't remember this conversation ever taking place until Sony made the announcement. Once only made announcement, now everybody's like E3's dying. It's all about packs. And I'll be honest, when was the last time any of us, even when we did we, never got lag, we talk about packs? None of um, us talked about packs. Yeah. So can somebody but, set me in the right direction? Did I miss something? Nah. P Porter no. Rock. Go go ahead, Greg. Oh, I was gonna say real quick, real quick. Uh it, it's not a conversation proper that anybody had. When I'll just go back to G4. When G4 was on, Tech TV was on, you pretty much watched that TV, those TV shows to get any information about E3. Now, everybody's getting information about it. I mean, I'm not going to downplay it. I mean, it's still a, it's still a big show, but uh, the PAX stuff is, PAX East is gigantic. I mean, everybody's there now. And uh, there's new game announcements. There's, you know, there's Dev Diaries. There's so all that stuff. When there. was the last PAX? Uh, <laughs> I want to say it was in the fall, but there's like, there's like <laughs> when was the last PAX? I think the last. I don't one. fucking know. Give me a month. <laughs> what month was it in? Oh, I can't tell you what month. Exactly. <laughs> I don't know what fucking when was PAX at. Like where? When was it? Where was it held? What state? I think it was in a country. <laughs> was it in Germany? I thought it was. Either, I thought it was Germany. That's Gamescom. That's Gamescom. Oh, Game Game Con. Con. Yeah, Gamescom. Yeah, That's in August. Well, yeah. I don't think there was been a there's been a conversation. Oh, but you see what I'm talking about? Like everybody's talking about, and I'm like, okay, so what's bigger? And everybody's like, oh, I mean, you mentioned PAX, but I'm like, all right, well, what's the next big trade show coming up? There isn't really. There's really only there's only three main trade shows that are widely popular and people know when it happens. E3. I mean, you also have developers. What is it? GDC in March. But yeah. that's mostly tech talk and you know nerd shit, right? So, uh -huh. so the main thing for games that gamers really look at: E3 in June, mm -hmm. Gamescom in August, Tokyo Game Show in September. Yes. Well, and notice, notice time. how I got those dates on lockdown. Yeah. I know the location: right, Tokyo, Cologne, Germany, Los Angeles, California. What Everybody. About CES? CES is huge. What happened? So what about CES? Consumer CES talks a little bit about gaming. They also talk about refrigerators. Yeah. Well, yeah, but I mean, talk about the newest technology coming out. CES is the TVs. That's actually, yeah. you know, TVs and all that shit. That's where, that's the main thing that comes out of that show. Sure, they have a little bit of gaming, but uh -huh. it's big. You know, most of the time, they, in fact, I can't even remember a game reveal at CES. I don't think I don't think they ever mentioned a game reveal. Now they've talked about games that have been revealed and the technology. Like I think um uh I think on chart, I think it was uncharted. They talk about the tech behind it for like the animation, shit like that. So I seen that. But you know, but for the most part, you don't see like a like a, if Sony Sony does have their um keynote speech there once in a while, but it's like everything Sony. They'll talk about Anything electronic. It's not just PlayStation. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's not no, like, E3 is our Super Bowl, is our gaming focus event where all the industry goes in one location and then like it's like a week long of just all stuff. I'm not gonna downplay them not yeah. being it's disappointing, but I understand when you're looking at 
like you just said, I mean, they had an E3, they could pairs Games Week, they used to do PSX, and they had something else, Tokyo Gaming Show. Right now, so far this this year, the Sony's biggest presence was at Tokyo, Tokyo Gaming Show. As far as new IP announcements. Well, and, and, and while that's all true, Porter Rock, at the same time, if if you put out big news in any show, whether you put it on or it's at some other little show, it's still going to create a lot of buzz. I agree with that. I agree with that. So here's a question. So shout out to Lionel B. Uh, he says Colin, Colin Moriarty said on his podcast that there is no comparison to E3 today and E3 during the PS2 gen. E3 been on a downhill. So I would say it's been on a downhill. I'll tell you why. I'm going to tell you why. <laughs> We've been getting a lot of when we look back at E3, it isn't the event itself. It's it's partially it's partially the people representing E3. You know, Sony, Microsoft, Nintendo. We have not been getting a lot of big announcements, especially for Microsoft. We have not been getting a lot of big announcements over the last yeah. two years, or whatever. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We're not like last E3. When you look at Sony's E3, I think it was good. You know, they show great in depth gameplay to big games. But we did not get a new big announcement from Sony. Yeah. We did not get a big new announcement from Microsoft. And I don't think we got a big new announcement from, well, kind of Super Smash Brothers Brawl. Or Super Smash Brothers was there. But they fucking, like, talked about it for like a half hour. Let me, <laughs> let me ask you guys something, though. If PlayStation was to go there, and they didn't want to show their hand yet with the PS5 or anything coming along with the PS5. What would they, what would you want them to show then? What would that, they show? Hey, you know, Fonts, man, we think alike. That is what I think the real reason why Sony's not there. I don't think it has anything to do with the show itself or it's not big or it's down a downhill or Sony could do their own thing. They are not ready to reveal the PlayStation 5. And if they're not ready to reveal the PlayStation Damn. 5, they got no games to show. That's, so, and that's exactly why. That's exactly why I say that I the think Xbox is going to go there, and Xbox is going to show nothing but services and their new yeah. console. They're, um, and they're not, the, not the Scarlet, but we're talking the streaming console or the discless console. Right. That's what they're going to show. Fox, that, Fox, Fox, Fox. Look, look, look at this point too. You got to think about it. As well as every company that goes to E3, everybody watches each other, right? Everybody's scouting. Everybody's just fucking scout. So you got Sony sitting there watching Microsoft show, and they say, you know what? Next year, I don't think we want to come out there and show the same shit. How many times have we seen Crackdown on that stage? Like they don't want to come out and do the same thing. They don't want to be redundant. <laughs> now, now, you know what? All day, though, but granted, I heard some Xbox dudes say, you know what? Well, we like to see those multiplats on these stages, and I'm like, okay, cool. But we could see those multiplats on their anyway, on their stage. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Look, 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 wait, Fonz, Fonz, to, to, to prove yeah. your point even further. How, and everybody on this panel, how many times have we seen? How many times did we see Kingdom Hearts three on stage? I'll wait. Yeah. Yeah. Every, literally everybody yeah. had that game everybody on their Everybody showed it. Yeah. yeah. You yeah. know what I mean? It gets redundant. I'm I'm I lost. I mean, I'm still excited for the game, but I ain't gonna lie, bro. I got tired of seeing it after a while. We just seen it at XO a few weeks ago. Is E3? Let me ask you this. Because this this is the reason why I, I, I wanted you guys to get together so we could talk the real shit about E3. Because this is this is this is the shit we need to talk about. Is E3 based on game development, right? And you know the industry got bigger in terms of financial volume and mm. independent studio and stuff like that. But in terms of big AAA stuff, you know the stuff that we see at E3 is gotten smaller. Hey, you know, we got we we got a lot like, of big right. AAA games, you know. A lot of people keep regurgitating the same ones, Call of Duty, Battlefield, yada, 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 same old shit. You know, E3 2007, 2008, Call of Duty was the shit. Now it's like, I don't want to see it on stage no more because it's the okay. fucking game. Look, look we, we got we got a guy in chat, Taser Delight, who's who's talking a lot of shit. And I just have to ask him, if he's if he's an Xbox dude, um, let me know, Taser, what are you hoping to see at Xbox's E3? Because I, I, I'll wait for that. What's up, Shout out to Raymond Rodriguez. He said Medieval will be next year's Spyro. Maybe, I guess. Are they doing a remaster to that game? Yeah, it's it's a remake. It's coming out uh, next month. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. So now here's my question. We all know big AAA development, the time has increased. It's taking longer to get these games out, right? It's not like the early, the late 1990s, mid 2000s, where you can make a AAA game in two years. I mean, look at PlayStation 2, right? <laughs> A console that launched in 2000 up to 2006 within those six years, 
and Rockstar by themselves released three Grand Theft Autos, Manhunt, Warriors, Bully. They had like six or seven, eight AAA games. Yeah. Now they're down to just making one per gen. So with that type of frequency, is E3 happening too often? Should it be an event that happens every two years now? Because the industry cannot keep up with the big because I, in reality gamers are not going to accept a trade event for indies that's just not the reality they don't want to see e3 and all these companies talking about as indies if they want the big blockbuster triple a games but it, they're not making them as fast enough it's, it's not even j just that i mean they've they're ending this generation with some major major big blockbuster triple a's at sony okay so sure they could show some of that again but they'll get blasted like yeah. they did last e3 Yes, and we 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 seen that with everybody. We seen it with PSX 2017. I know J Dub loved it. I know you guys, but you guys, you gotta understand, you guys were there. So I get if you were there in California and you were there at the event, you're with the people, you're excited. You know, it's kind of like baseball. A lot of people hate watching baseball on TV, but when you go to the stadium and you have beers and paying twenty dollar hot dogs, they love it. You know, so I get you guys love it. But me and Jay Fonz, we were hurting, dog. We, we were we were looking at the screen and we're like, oh shit, this shit sucks, you know. And don't get me wrong, with with Microsoft, look, I, I'm glad that um, they're going to be ending with Gears Five and Ori, Ori and the Will of the Wisps. Th those are two great games, but man, like I don't see anything. Same old games, doing, bro. I, I don't see them showing anything outside of those games, or uh, you, you know, their services and stuff. Uh, besides multiplats, of course, but. Again, multi plats you can see them anywhere. Yeah. So, Hans, you, you, is right. I agree. They they're Sony is in the one some I mean Spider-Man, if it if this if that's the last game that is that if that's the last triple A game, and I'm not saying that it will be, if that's the last triple A game, that's there that's kind of a you know a, a tap your tap your toes and uh your you know grab your cocks because that game is outstanding. No, no, what no, no. The they, still last, they still got Last of Us 2, Craig. They yeah. still got Last of Us no. 2. Go for Shishima. So, so well, what I was saying, I said, if. I said, I don't, you know, if that's the last game you <laughs> get, you know, then that's fine. You know, but yeah, no, The Last of Us Part 2, <laughs> yeah, Ghost of Tsushima. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, day's gone. You know, but if the Spider-Man was the last game, that's, then that's the last game. But it's not. What we're saying is the last game is going to be... You know, what we know, Days Gone, Days Gone, uh, Last of Us, Death Stranding, and Ghost of Tsushima. I think oh, those are. Oh, we don't have release dates for those. We haven't released dates for those. I think at least two, at least two, least two out of those those three. The last, those are the last confirmed new game for PlayStation 4. I think, I think Ghost of Tsushima, I mean, I know there's rumors of other stuff, but I think at a certain point, Sony moved on because they have to start creating PlayStation 5 games, and you can't create a PlayStation 5 game in two years. You know, so at that point, like Gorilla, I think their last PS4 project was Horizon Zero Dawn. Their yeah. next project was a PlayStation 5 game. Whether they, it's the new or the sequel, it's a PlayStation 5 game. Do you think so, they can do another DLC? Team, yeah, the team that did Uncharted 4, they're working on PlayStation 5. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Things like that. So there's, there's internal studios that already moved on to PlayStation 5 development. And like I said, if they're not ready to unveil the PlayStation 5 for whatever exactly. reason, like three, then they got nothing to talk about because they're not going to talk about Death Stranding again. There's Taser nothing. Delight finally answered. He wants to see uh, games announced from the new studios that Microsoft got at E3. Yeah. But see, that's the thing, Taser. If, as long as they're not going to show their next-gen <laughs> console, they're not going to show the Scarlet, they're not going to talk about those games. Yeah. yeah. I don't think the studios were bought last year to make... Xbox One games. They're making Scarlet games right now. Now they might be compatible with Xbox One X, you know, cross gen, all that crap. But it's too soon. Unless those studios already have something cooked in the books, it's only been a year. Why can you show within a year? Well, even if they were working on major games before they got acquired by Microsoft, even if they were doing that, you know, these games are being prepared for the next gen. Okay. So unless Microsoft, hey, they could pull a 180 on me and show the new Scarlet, and then I'm completely wrong. I'll eat crow and say, damn, they did it. But I don't think, I don't think they're going to show their new console at E3. I think it's too early. Yeah. Stuart yeah. Stark, thank you for the super chase. says, what if Sony announces their stranding release date for the week of E3 2019? They e Even though they aren't there, Sony's still in the gaming talks that week. That's, that's, that's what I was trying to bring up. Even with you know with Sony Sony not being at E3, 
you know, they still got four major games. Days Gone, which we already know that has a release date in April. The Last of Us, Ghost of Tsushima, and Death Stranding, right? Yeah. They spread those games out throughout 2019, and they do the same type of media blitz campaign they did with God of War, that they did with Horizon Zero Dawn, where you see a lot of traction with gaming websites. You see it at some type of sports events. You saw God of War at the All-Star Game or something yep. like that. You saw Spider-Man trains, you know, in New York City. You saw all that type of shit, you know? Yeah, but imagine, Florida, Rock, I'm imagine, it, imagine Microsoft conferences on Sunday, right? Yeah. Or whatever. And Sony announced like a month before, or like when Microsoft officially announces their conference, hey, we're hosting our conference on this date. Then Sony two days later says, hey, we're releasing The Last of Us 2 three days later. Yep. People Everybody's gonna be talking about. Yeah. So, so that's what people don't realize. Sony something big yeah. that game will overshadow the conference because nobody's gonna be like, "Well, Microsoft showed a whole bunch of multiplats." No one's gonna care about that. Yeah. If they don't show a big exclusive, Sony, you know, Sony's cutthroat like that. They they love to fucking announce something when Microsoft announces something just to undercut them. But that to me, that's competition. That's 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 what should happen. You know, Microsoft should be reciprocating in kind. Anytime right, Sony says something good, Microsoft comes out with something big. That's how it should be. But imagine well, Sony steadily announcing stuff throughout the year. People pay attention to those games. Yeah. Well, if we're starting out, if you're starting out a sentence with what if or if they, I'm going to start referring to those people as Jack Reacher because you're reaching for something that's just not there. Just wait for them to announce the games. I, I did the same thing with the Xbox community. So I'm, I'm, I'll be- Here's the thing, I, I, let me ask you this. I don't understand this date thing, because it's like people, when I have a conversation on Twitter, people talk as if, if you don't have a date, the game don't exist. Yeah. I'm like, well, no, you know, you know, games just to throw away? <laughs> Like, well, no, the games exist. We saw gameplay. War. Well, but we saw gameplay, you know. But I mean, again, my whole point is, if you get into this whole notion of if and and, and if they and they might that you are literally that's, that's Xbox stuff. language, bro. We don't speak that. Yeah, language. I know. What I'm, saying. I'm gonna start calling those people Jack Reacher because that's exactly what the Xbox community would say. What if if they they're going to Maybe they will. I mean, that's the whole thing. We know that Days Gone's coming. We know MLB the show. Those, those have release dates, but I understand a release window, maybe. I mean, I had somebody tweet me, and they said that, uh, well, no, they didn't tweet me. Somebody did a podcast saying that 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 they were going to show that they were going to release a release date for Death Stranding and at, something else at the VGA. No, no, yeah, really? It, well, guess what? Now, if they don't do it, I'm going to have to queue one up and knock you out of the park. You should not be reporting that big of a rumor because if we don't get it, yeah, everybody's going to come looking at you. Like, why yeah. would you even report a rumor Craig, don't, like that? Don't Craig Harris sound like you need to be working for Audible? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they said it's a rumor, though. So nobody said confirmed, you know, Sony's going to be releasing no, dates. Why would the rumor? Why? But people have to realize that. Uh, you have to stop taking what people say on Twitter as you know as gold. Right. Yeah, you know I mean? it's gospel. I, I agree, but you know I mean? you're right about that all day. You're you're right. That's something I got to work on. But, don't know as much as you know. They just throwing out shit. <laughs> we take it, we ball it up, we boil it, and cook it for everybody else to feed off of. You know what I mean? Like, hey, y'all yeah, talking about another Well, let me say this real quick. You all do know after Jeff Keeley's awards at CBS. Act, better known, you know, the Columbia Broadcasting Service, the network, is going to have another gaming show on after 60 minutes. And if you're so, if they're going to be announcements, there's what you announce because that's the whole world. Well, who's like backing this award show? I haven't really looked up to it. But like, is it IGN? Gamers Choice, Gamers Choice Awards? Oh, okay, Gamers Awards, and it is huge. I mean, it's apparently going to have everybody there. Allegedly, so we're at the way. Next team. week is the next week. It's a week after that. It's whatever. Like Kiwi show was what, like on a Thursday night or something like that. Yeah. This show was on a Sunday. Oh, and here's the funny thing: all the games of the year. I'm still waiting on an Xbox game and getting for games of the year for Gamers Choice. These are Gamers Choice awards. So nobody, nobody picked an Xbox game for game of the year. 
But they didn't have it. So, I mean, that's, that's unless that print, unless that print was wrong. Xbox hasn't saw. been nominated for a game of the year in a while. Reach. Yeah, they haven't had 2010. So. Okay. Yeah. Lionel, Lionel B, he says, problem with Sony was they were too many events in the last three years. Instead, they should have just condensed to two great events. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Maybe. I, I just think they just don't have anything. What they yeah. have is PlayStation 5 related, and you can't put the cart before the horse and announce games without announcing. Like, imagine we see an event, look at all these great PlayStation 5 games, and then it's over, and everybody's like, uh, where's the PlayStation <laughs> Like you showed us games, like you know, like are these games even running on a PlayStation Five or they're running on PC? Like you didn't show the system, so they're not gonna. And, and here's the thing: why is it not gonna be announced at E three? I don't know. Do they plan? Like they could very well do what um Jfon says. They'll announce it in September 2019 and launch it March 2020. That's a very plausible scenario. Uh, and everybody, everybody here already knows why, bro. We got the 25th anniversary in 2020. Yeah, in America. That, that's very plausible. That is a plausible scenario. And consoles used to launch early, you know, like the like um launching consoles in November. That was actually like uh, a shit. The PS3 launched in uh March of uh, yeah, in Japan in March first. No, 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 no. It did no, launch. That was one that, that launched here in March. It was either oh, PS3 or PS2 here. It, it was, was it, it was supposed to march. It was supposed to launch March of two thousand six. But that Blu ray diode, they couldn't oh, get yeah. of it, so they had to delay it to November. But it was supposed what if it doesn't come out. Six. What if it doesn't come out? The what? What if PS5 does not come out? Come out that's at all? Another scenario. Come out at all? Yeah, what if it doesn't come out? You mean like they don't make it? <laughs> what if they just say that? Hey, we ain't doing it. <laughs> yeah, why, why, why make money? Like what? <laughs> well, I'm just playing, what's it called? Devil's, uh, advocate. What if they don't make it? That's not really a good one. You gotta, you gotta do a good job. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is like their most successful line. That's like so. That's like Apple. Be like you know, uh, next year we're just gonna stop making iPhone. Like why? Uh, just because we decided to. Well, if, every, if, if we're all gonna guess when it's coming out, I'm gonna guess it may never come out. The only way it's not coming out is if there's like a nuclear disaster in half the continent. That could happen. Well, yeah, that's true. That, right. that has nothing to do with the decision, though. That's the their dev kits are out there, bro. The dev kits are out there. Yeah, yeah, that's true. I, I understand. I, I got a line. Well, I can say I got a line. Yeah, I, I did a podcast on one of the yeah. dev kits. I mean, the only time you have to question that is when it comes down to financial loss and sales and stuff like that. Yeah. Like, like PlayStation 4, we were lucky we got that because PlayStation 3 was nothing but a complete loss every single yeah. It wasn't like if you look at the metrics that Sony launched with their graph. It wasn't so much of loss. It was how, how least of a loss they could do year over year. That was their metric. Not to lose as much money the year prior. You know, gain less loss year over year. That thing never gained any positive money whatsoever. PlayStation 3. PlayStation 3 was a total financial disaster for them on every level. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, in the end, you know, they got great gains. But as far as money, that console drained them. Every, yeah. right down to the last year. It yeah. killed it was. It wasn't. It was not good to the last drop. No, I agree. <laughs> uh, next topic, which is Fallout seventy six, J Do's favorite topic. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> lots of backlash for that game. Who mm -hmm. played? You played it too, right? Yep, yep, yep. I got oh, lots of so game, Since uh, Craig, are you playing the game? Not yet. I can't find nobody to play with. I did a podcast. Yeah. And to play, and they cussed me out in the chat. You haven't. Like, you got you? No, I'll I play the comic book simulator yeah. with you, bro. It's good. I'll play. So, so Jay, Jay Dub, all day, take the wheel since you guys actually played the game. Let us know what you think about the game. What's your opinion? I mean, after all the reviews I didn't see, I understand the, 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 the outrage and it's totally feasible. Um, uh, you know what I mean? It comes Power Man, Iron Fist, caping. No, 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 no. I, <laughs> <laughs> no, wait, wait, wait. We got heroes look, look, look. in this motherfucker. <laughs> right, look, I, I I get it, right? Like some of the main gripes in the game, it, it could have been an expansion. I think if this game, look, you got to, you, I'm gonna break it down. Here you go. <laughs> check it out. Well, these fists is glowing right now. <laughs> I know, right, right. Check it, check it out, check it out. Now, 
people, you have to look. Oh fuck! Oh, I'm attacked from this angle. <laughs> you, we think about it. The whole is J Dub gaming him letting you listen, know hey, the <laughs> whole gaming industry, <laughs> the whole all gamers just came off of Red Dead Two. You understand what I'm telling you? Yeah, I didn't. we just came off of that. And then when you load up Fallout seventy six, another brown game. Brown game. Oh, yeah, yep. another brown game, right? The palette, yeah. The palette, and palette. This shit ain't meeting the checkpoints you needed. You just played a masterpiece, and then you go into Fallout seventy six. You play something that don't even work after you push start. Like, Hold on, what bro. masterpiece are you talking about? Red Dead. Red Dead. That's got fake HDR. Ain't no masterpiece. Ah, oh, shut your ass. <laughs> so look, it's not a masterpiece. So, I'm not here to say it's not a good game, but masterpiece. You can't be a master nothing but fake HDR. Craig, so if you interrupt me about Craig, HDR Craig, one I'm, more time, but look, but look, this is what I'm saying, right? They, th this game is nothing but a data, uh, a data, a data package game, right? They put this game out there. I applaud them for trying the multiplayer thing, trying a new avenue. This is something that a lot of Fallout fans wanted, right? They all wanted to play court with their friends in Skyrim, Fallout. We finally got that. I want to see what this game is in a year, but right now... Oh, my God. Look, look, no, I'm being honest. I want to see where it's at. Oh, here. my God. You did not use the, the, the one thing I hate that people use. Well, <laughs> at least you know, you're friends. No, no, Fonz. Fonz, you, yeah. I mean, look, if you want to counter me, that's fine, but you play Destiny. So... You're and? having another you Fallout go, world. You can, there. you can go there, bro. I played it. We can go there. I mean, look, you have. I give. Look, the game's a technical dumpster fire. I understand that. Okay, it's it's a looter shooter, right? Looter shooter. Right. So it's a looter shooter. <laughs> so, so how is that shooting mechanics, bro? How, how is the shooting mechanics in this game? In first person mode, it's cool. It's, oh, it's, it's cool. trash as hell. Don't go there because I played Fallout 4, bro. I know how trash they are. So, okay. but I'm, I play Fallout a lot, and I'm telling you, from Fallout 3 to 4, is a, is, they improved a lot. And they took out the VAT system. The one thing you need for this dog. Okay, okay. Well, wait, I'm, 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 I'm going to kill you right there. Stop. Fon, stop. They you did. cannot, in real time, you cannot slow down time in a real world game. You can't do that. They have a dog shit, shit shooter in a shoot, looter shooter game. And what do you fight? What are you loot, looting to? What is the loot? Oh yeah, it's garbage. Straight okay. garbage. Garbage is gold in Fallout. Have you ever played a Fallout game? No, go go. I play Fallout all the time, but you're so you know that junk is the gold in that game. <laughs> How do you like the narrative so far, bro? You say what? How do you like the narrative in the game so far? How do you like that storyline that's going on in that game? Now look, and let's break down that, right? Yes, there's no NPCs, right? The mission structure. Could be better, but there's a lot of good lore in there if you read it. Motherfuckers oh, don't want to read. We're going back to Grimoire cards. Oh, right. my God. So, no, but you don't have to go on the website to go look at it, Fonz. It don't. It doesn't it, matter, it bro. So okay, let me let me set it for how you want. Hey, let me set the scenario for you all day. So you're playing with friends, right? And you're having a good time with friends, right? Okay, can you play this game by yourself and actually have fun with a straight face? Yes, you could. Oh I, it's, it's Fallout 4. It's Fallout 4. It is. Fallout 4. It is. Playing, playing friends. Let's go there. You're playing with some buddies, right? Even one person. And that person is talking to you. And you're over here trying to read something off of a thing, trying to get into this lore. And he's just in your ear. Hey, let's go shoot some shit. Let's go do this. Let's go do that. You ain't got time to read, bro. Look, <laughs> I agree. I think there's need. Look, there needs to be NPCs in the game to make the game feel wholesome. Make make have some, some depth to it, right? But they so didn't do it. What do you actually do in this game? Because I know how the other Fallout was. Fetch, so quest. fetch, fetch quests, bro. Here's my question. Oh, Here's my question. Why didn't they just copy Elder Scrolls Online structure? I don't know. You can play that game by yourself because there's a story to it. Too much work. They took, they took all the assets from. They took all the assets from Fallout Four. People have proved this in videos. They've taken structures from Fallout Four straight out of Fallout Four and just placed it into this world map, bro. <laughs> yeah, they did. They did. And you know what's crazy? These are the people that was complaining about not being able to do crossplay. That that if Sony would have done something, remember that that Fallout yeah. Six is not going to have crossplay because of Sony. Yeah. This motherfucker. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna tell you this. This game, in my opinion, should have been twenty nine ninety nine or free. Oh shit! It should have been a free. To it should have been, been free to play. 
Yep. Or it should have been twenty nine ninety nine. Facts. Wow. It wouldn't get the backlash that it got right. if it was at a full full price tag. All right. it so power man, J Dubs. All right. So <laughs> listen. <laughs> hey, hey, not, man, mind you, know, the people that complain you know, about Fallout seventy six don't know how to play Fallout. Stokes so she's going after you, you Craig. Stuart Stokes says, Craig. Stop the what is Craig? What if whoa, no? Whoa, 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 whoa. He did, this man just said I don't know how to play Fallout. I put 259 hours in Fallout 4. Whoa. So <laughs> <laughs> I, gotta, I, gotta, I gotta see the so, so, so you can play. So if you if you put that much if you put that many hours into Fallout 4, did you buy Fallout 76? Hell no, because there's no oh, NPCs, okay. there's no law. <laughs> I'm huge. That, like, that shooting, I, I, that shooting I, I, it was not good. Even in Fallout 4, the shooting sucked. It so why did you put 250 hours in it? Because the game had lore. It had stuff to go after. It was fun. Yeah, the yeah, vat. The Fallout was. 76 is the same thing. It's all about it's that. Vat. Same, same, bro. Yeah, listen, listen. Wait, wait. Let, 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 me, let me. Okay. So my no, that. The game is whack. Listen. Exactly. <laughs> whack. Okay, this, this is what I want to say, right? <laughs> Go ahead. From all the bad stuff people are saying about the game, yes, 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 yes. But here's the thing. If you play Fallout 4, that's exactly what you're getting. You're not getting anything other than Fallout 4. You're just having the capability of playing with your friends. You can now... Uh, what do you do? Know? Okay, okay. I, I got to say something real quick, because a lot of what you and All Day are saying about this game is What's the that? same thing that people said about Sea of Thieves, bro. Same thing they said about Sea of Thieves. Listen, 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 listen. Listen, no. Two, two totally different things, right? I'm seeing... Uh, so I'm one, bashing the game as much as you, but I know yeah. I, I'm... No, 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 no. Here's the thing, right? I bought the game. I played the game. I'm giving you my bought review of the game and the situation, not something I read offline. I'm giving you first hands. For one, there is a VAT system in there. It's the exact same one from Fallout 4. And no, from, it's not. No, it's, no, not. it's, not. it's, no, not. it's not. No, it's not. No, it's not. I you, saw it. <laughs> how, how do you think say what you mean? The slow motion where you can shoot from... Yeah, you, it don't go in slow motion. It's just a, a lock on targeting now. Target yeah, but I can, I can still do it. I mean... Yeah, with, yeah, you can, but it's not... Fonz was Fonz was complaining about. <laughs> I mean, uh, you can't do a real true VAT system in this game. Won't work. Terrible, oh, bro. okay. 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 Maybe, <laughs> maybe, maybe if Bethesda uh, got the power of the cloud, they could do it. Go ahead, get your point across, Jay. I don't understand why you guys are defending this well, dog. I'm not defending world. nothing. Hans, you won't you won't let you won't let us talk. You won't let me talk to be able to tell oh, you. Go ahead. go ahead. I apologize. Go ahead. So for all the thing that was wrong with this game, right? The reason I bought this game is because it was getting so much uh, negativity and I wanted to see for myself. I didn't want to just read and see what somebody else said. So I bought the damn game. I spent $59 for it. I played it. I played a shitload of Fallout 4 and all the pre other Fallouts and it was Fallout 4. So I, I went in knowing what to expect. The mere fact that I was playing Fallout 4 with my friends in the game was what I expected. Now, is it the perfect game? No. Uh, it, 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 but no Fallout game is is perfect. It's always been shitty, drab, color. It's for all the same flaws that this game have. Is the same ones that Fallout Four had. The same Fallout New Vegas. Three. Every every mm -hmm. other one, has, right? All of them. So, wait, wait. So so let me finish. So I get people who bought the game. I get there complaining. And about the bugs, the glitches, and the mere fact that Bethesda has been doing these Fallout games for so long, and they still have the same bugs, and the sa it's the same shit. It feel feels like they never fixed what's wrong in the previous games, and then they start out with a new game, and it has the same bugs that the original one had. So I get that, but if you thoroughly enjoy Fallout Four, you should be thoroughly enjoying Fallout Seventy Six. My only take is to play it for yourself. You, you and your friends can probably have a good time. Again, it, the, the, the cracking is not lacking in this game. <laughs> I, just, I, just, you know, I just feel like maybe the guy Todd Howard he oversold the shit. He oversold it, and that's what that's what a lot of companies do, and they they deserve their failure, just like No Man's Sky. They oversold the game. It didn't have what they said was in there, and they got to take their lumps just like every other company. So I'm not defending the yeah. game, right? I'm not. I'm not defending the game. I'm just giving you my first hand 
uh, perspective. I understand that, I understand that but at the same time, back, you know, back in the three, Fallout 76 and who's playing it? Uh, that's just back, my... Back in the three, this back is a side game, bro. Day, back in the 360 days, I had great fun playing Uno with friends online, but that game, it, it, it was dog shit at the end of the day. It was Uno, okay? It was a card game. Now, I, you could have fun pretty much with anything with friends online you you can pretty much you can play sea of thieves and have fun with friends online but this is the same stuff you guys are saying it's the same stuff they said about sea of thieves i'm convinced this if this game was an exclusive to xbox you guys would be shitting all over it bro hey, hey Fonz, did you hey Fonz, did you spend did you spend, hey, spend 250 hours in sea of thieves Hell. <laughs> all right, all right. I, I rest my case. Here's my question. All right, let me ask you this because y'all keep relating to Fallout 4, right? So I love Fallout 4. I probably spent just as much hours as Jay Fonz there, right? With Fallout 76 not having a story, what do you what do you guys do? Like what feels, like it, like you log on? All right, it, now what? So you log on, you go to a terminal, you get missions, you go do what all missions like like what's just, the point? It could be like escort missions, or it could be like you know, kill, you know just, <laughs> just just gain experience, life. do a mission, yeah, come you back. Experience, you level up your you're, you're leveling up your skills. You you can find uh, new codes. You can you know, I think there's 24 people to a server. Yeah, and there's there's rare items in the game. Who are you fighting? Armors, uh, just like everything else, rare and, weapons and other and are, other. Are, are there are there non playable characters in this? Like people yes. you kill, attack. Yes. Okay. So you just go around doing missions and then that's it, but there's no story Grand behind it. Oh, you, 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 oh shit. This is oh, oh, what you this, 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 this 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 now now the show's going left. Oh, oh shit. Hit the like button. Oh shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> It went okay, left it. as soon as these guys were defending 76. I, I, I told you we're heroes for hire. They're, they're, they're defending yo. <laughs> they got they got see <laughs> thieves. They got see thieves call out edition. Y'all got a full meeting. What's going on? I'm, I'm right, so we're talking about meeting. we're talking about we're talking about Fallout 76. Have you played it? Type in the dog shit. <laughs> oh shit, man. <laughs> I don't like the gun. I, mean, I don't like Skyrim. Oblivion, like, oh shit. man, this guy, man. We're gonna have a man eject though, cuz they're saying the bat, the batting is lacking. Yeah, they no batting shit. Oh, nah, yeah. we're, talking, <laughs> we're talking about that. Oh, about, about the about the Bethesda backlash about Fallout. Yeah. Now, here's my question so now, so now we got all the personal opinions out the way. Do you think that finally gamers and reviewers are not accepting glitchy games anymore? That they finally recognize Bethesda for the glitchy games that they make, and now they're like, you know what? We're not giving you a pass no more. Especially after Red Dead, because Red Dead is huge. That's what I'm saying. The open world is incredibly huge, incredibly detailed, and has nowhere near the glitches. So you think people are like, you know what? Fuck Bethesda. Nope. You you ever really game like this? Who's cut the check? Who's, who's paying for advertising in these magazines or these sites? It's me saying it's reviews for hire. And I'm just being honest, you know what I mean? A little bit what goes behind the scene. You, when you have some, uh, and that guy or journalist or whoever speak out about it, but you're going to have, you know, not even, you're going to have the, maybe some of the, 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 the YouTubers or people in the community, but you're going to have people like Jason Shear come out and say that gamers are entitled or, uh, you know, it's going to go both ways. You know, look, and listen, think about a few years ago, it was on the opposite side. My man, what's my man named Hip Hop uh, Gamer said, you know, us complaining about Street Fighter lack of content, you know, uh, what do you what's, what's he say? What he said was racism. What the fuck is that? It was, yeah, 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 yeah. Folks, hey, Craig, Stuart Stokes going yes. at. Him. He said, he said, stop the what ifs, Craig. What if no PS Five hashtag? Hypocrite. Oh shit. Huh? What if no PS5 hashtag? Well, that doesn't make any sense. No, he's saying he's, he's good. I guess when you mean you're coming about what if no PS5, he said, I don't know, hashtag hypocrite. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, what if they, we're gonna do what ifs? What if there is not one? Oh shit. This what, what, what is not what? Yeah, PS5? No, Marvel. Yeah, I'm gonna say they, all these people uh, they, they have they have what, they say, what if and if they and what if they they just need to shut up because they look like Jack Reacher. Who's talking about far as the PS5 cream? Yeah, we're not there yet. We're yeah, not. I know it's coming out. Oh, oh, yeah. shit, great. Nigga said, what if Jesus doesn't <laughs> walk on water? He said, get up, Craig. Get up, Craig. <laughs> so what if you walk on wine? What if Jesus walked on wine? Don't start that shit, man. I told y'all they been drinking. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> no, but, do you think, but do you think it's about time Bethesda's getting the backlash it deserves? Yep. 
Because that's the game. He doesn't have crossplay. We were talking about crossplay. We're talking about the quality, like the build. Like the game is glitchy as fuck. All their games have always been glitchy, bro. The, uh, hey, look, 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 this game, like ninety Metacritic. Bro, Fallout seventy six is an experiment that go, that went wrong, bro. Period. <laughs> That's what it is, bro. Honestly, because this engine is dated as fuck. It goes back what almost twenty years. this at all, and that's the problem. You know what? At, at the end of the day, right? And I, I think I'm gonna take it one step in front as far as the engine. They just took the same assets that they already had been using, and it was not just them. Uh, what do you call it? Activision's guilty of it. All of them are guilty. Of taking that same engine, those same assets. And expanding on them, you know what I mean. And again, a game like Fallout seventy six or just Fallout period, or it's an icon. Whether you like it or not, not my cup of tea. It's an iconic franchise. It should have been handled with better care. You know what I mean? And uh, you know, and uh, you know what? So you know what? We're gonna the same engine. Uh, we're gonna add multiplayer onto it, and then you know we might hit it with something new. The following generation, probably it's gonna be the same shit over and over again. Are, are, are sales hurting? Are the sales down? If it's not a fact in the bottom dollar, we can fuss all compared to Fallout 4. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. What did Todd Howard say at, at E3? You guys remember what he said about Skyrim? Remember that? He said, Why do you guys keep on making this? Why do you guys keep on rehashing the game, right? What'd he say? Well, you motherfuckers keep buying it. Mm-hmm. He said it. He told you. Mm-hmm. You motherfuckers keep buying and, it. And here's the reason, though. The, the modding community had made that game. Keeps it alive. And and that's the that's the problem. When a modding community can make your own game better than you guys can within three days, that's a problem. That shows me lack of just I mean, all effort from Bethesda. Bethesda is is they're not trying, bro. At this point, they're not. They're just putting out bullshit and, and just hoping for for us to fix it, basically. Here's my question. So all they made a great point. You keep buying it. This is the first time I've seen a major Bethesda game get huge backlash and terrible sales. Do you think this will now... Could you consider Fallout 76 being the sacrificial lamb to now yeah. be like, you know what? We cannot release Elder Scrolls 6 under the same... Hell no. Hell no. Port Rock, Port Rock, didn't I tell you this game is a, it's a data center, bro? Yeah. To collect all the backlash, all the data they're getting, all the feedback to potentially improve. Period. Uh, listen, it, Bethesda mean? is Bethesda. What they do, their number one thing is they put out shitty Fallout games that look shitty. Uh, they're janky. They're <laughs> cheesy. <laughs> <and> <laughs> they're but they so never got that before. That's just they, never, they never got backlash before. This yeah, never yeah. happened. You know why? For the, for the, of course they didn't get backlash because for the same reason uh, Activision doesn't really get that much backlash when it comes to call. Yeah, but now they did though. And then every version outsell the previous version, no matter how shitty the game is. People will buy it. It's a name brand that they built up, and folks want to, to yeah, live in this world. Terrible. Terrible. Just simple. Well, it's so terrible. They have the game selling at thirty dollars now. And it came out like three days ago. Really? Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's like thirty. Now? It's like thirty dollars now. Oh my god, nah, because fucking Fallout 4 was not $30 Black Friday when it came out. I paid like $49. Oh, you went to the Fallout You went to the Fallout shit. Got the price like 10 bucks. Oh, it came out. Oh, why well, I never care for that shit though? Dollar Black Friday. This thing is down to like $30 now. <laughs> well, to be fair though, because always dropped the game on like thirty dollars around Black Friday. They did it. To, did it with uh, what's the what's the what's the shit they do with the with the characters? With the little South Park, they all they should go come, come like thirty dollars. Yeah, right. You know, what I mean, it, it might go back up. But I mean, listen, here's the thing: if it stays at thirty dollars, then it is what it is. But they do that shit every year. They drop they shit down to thirty. You know, but you know this this game could be this game could be. Um, intuitive or show like innovation because this this technically could be the first me to play game. Hey, I did I did the same thing with Mass Effect Andromeda, and I'm gonna say it here, and I'm gonna keep to my word. If they come out with the same bullshit ass engine within their their next few games, whatever they may be, even if they're huge popular games that I used to like, I'm not buying them. I, I'm, not, off Mass Mass Effect. Effect. I'm just saying though, Fallout Fallout could be the first me to play, meaning you gotta pay me. To play this shit, right? <laughs> <laughs> we got these to play games. Uh, a me to play, 
All these shits. <laughs> hey, Porter Rock, Porter Rock, do you agree that this game smells like a game preview game? <laughs> Probably. That's what I think. You know what? You know what? You know what's funny, man? I knew shit like this was gonna happen when people pay thirty dollars for betas. I knew that shit was gonna work now. But damn, 60? Oh, but I get to play a game a year early. Like, nah, you playing a beta, dog. That's what you <laughs> You paid money to a company for a game that's not finished. I don't care if it's $10. You gave somebody. You gave somebody. Would you give McDonald's $10 for an uncooked burger? No. No. Yeah. I'm going to do that. And I knew this shit was going to happen. Ark, fucking PUBG. This shit, this shit is tell him why you mad, P Rap. No, no, crazy man. He goes, let me ask Z. What if Sony released one of their big exclusives the week of E3 to backhand Xbox and it keeps them in gaming talks? Um, hashtag what if hashtag triggered Craig. Oh shit, man. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What, what your mic was cutting out for me? What's the, what, what's the question? I, I missed. All right. a little bit. Jesus, so he's asking you this. So let me okay. go. He said, "Let me ask you. What if Sony released one of their big exclusive the week of E3 to backhand Xbox and oh, E3, E3 showing? And it keeps them in the in the gaming conversation." You know, what, bravo, who asked that question? Uh, Stuart Stokes. He's still, you know, man. I need pictures of your granny for that one. I got you. Got me scratching my head on that one. You know how janky goddamn Sony. You know Sony's the niggas right now. Uh, the game is. They, what's what's they got? They probably released Last of Us Two. Right? Last of Us Two. The day. I need that. Uh, <laughs> 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 they was teasing me. Yeah, yeah, for real. All right. So, now, that, no one's Sony. You know what? No one's Sony. They might do some shit like that. I wouldn't. Bro, I wouldn't put it past. In June 2013. That's when last of us one came out. Hey, you know, getting back to Fallout 76 real quick, I just have to ask, like, when are we as gamers gonna stop accepting like these broken ass games I or did. the Literally. shell of a game? Um, obviously, obviously, by the reception of that game, no one's accepting it, bro. Yeah, I mean, look at it this way, Farms. When when did um Fallout 4 came out? 2015, right? So 2015, because that's that was during the whole Tomb Raider fiasco. So Sony was around 25 million console. Xbox was around 10 consoles and shit like that. And then you got PC, right? So you did, we didn't, we were nowhere near the huge fan base that we have today in 2018. And this game sold like 70% less than what was sold back in 2015. So I think majority of the gamers said, fuck this bullshit. We ain't playing it. You know what? Yeah, I, think I, I gotta I wait to see uh, what you call it. They might be digital. Then wasn't duty posting been down and most of all up on digital? You know, yeah. Yeah, so I'll I'll wait for making all. Oh yeah, that's cool. Cause Bethesda don't release digital sales. Yeah, you know what I mean. You know, I'm just saying, real online game. If might have bought it online, that's true. Cause it's an always online game. You know, I would wait for we come out saying it didn't sell. Like I said, but well, the fact that he said there's no such thing as bad press. Motherfuckers are talking about it, and it is a you have people like Moss. Moss loves the the Fallout franchise. You know, that's his thing. You know what I mean. Uh, motherfuckers are still gonna buy it. They're gonna play with it. the same thing with 2K and Madden. We could yeah. we sit here, we complain, and they ain't gonna do this. And then when this game was no, they're not. You know what? Gaming is much bigger than us. Say how you say the casuals and the things that may how you say irk our nerves or whatever the case may be. The casuals may be fine with. Well, I, I, you, know, you mentioned a couple of people there, and I I just. I have to bite my tongue a little bit, but I will say that there's a certain group of people that will accept damn near anything when it comes to gaming sometimes. <laughs> oh, man. Hey, hey, oh, Come on, man. Oh, man. I agree. I agree with funds, and that is the truth. I this, you're never going to have any universal uh, collaboration with gamers much on anything because... Unless it's cross me against Tony. What's shit, right? <laughs> like, for example, take an example. Uh, uh, uh. You got a you got a, a list of 60s rated fucking games, but people treat them like they're fucking yeah. 90s, right? I, and, and they swear by them. Now I get it. You you having fun with them? You good? God bless your heart, and that's fine. I decided to spend my money on this fucking game to find out for myself because I'm like, hold up. If this game is technically supposed to be Fallout Four, which I enjoyed and had fun for years, how could this game possibly be that bad? By adding a mo uh, multiplayer uh, on it, so I played it. 
And, you know, I, I just, I don't know. Maybe my expectation was a little bit different. It's shit. Okay, fine. It's shit. But there is always going to be somebody that's going to buy the next Elder Scrolls, the okay. next Skyrim, the next piece of shit that they serve up. Because as gamers, we all have different tastes and different things which we accept and which we don't. That's just simple. Mm -hmm. really? I mean, that's what about the loot crates? People buying loot crates and, 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 and all that. I don't get why I'm started on that. I'm, I'm just saying, some people accept it, some people don't, but that don't stop the ones that don't. People still shit out $300, $400, $500 on loot crates, even though the masses say, ah, right, that's crap, we don't like it. That's because the masses are a bunch of liars and they're buying the motherfuckers. <laughs> hey, look, does it have the roach on there? I'm lying, I'm lying. I don't even leave you. <laughs> You're lying, I don't care, moderation. <laughs> you said, why would you out me like that? But besides, who's going to believe you? And you're lying, I'm lying. You're going to be arrogant as hell, yo. <laughs> okay, you were super Xbox X is our marshals for 320. The tide is turning. Oh, my God. <laughs> What's, I saw that. What's that? Oh, on the real you Xbox guys remind me of like the dudes fucking like in the Civil War, man. Like shit's over. Don't worry, the South will prevail. Two hundred, <laughs> you know, like man, it's done, bro. It's done. Oh, All right. Anyway, let's move on to the next topic: PlayStation Five rumor. Um, oh. we're gonna let Zaire head this up because he's in What's the. Up? He's the industry. So, so let's talk about it, man. Oh, I, I, got, I got some shit for you, two people. Mommy, uh, when, when we doing the digital streets this week, or, or yeah, we, we, could do, we could do it tomorrow. I got oh, some shit. I got some DMs and shit. I just show you. All right. All right. So anyway, um, give us give us this lowdown on PS Five, five hundred dollar four K monster. What the fuck's going on? I mean, I mean, um, right. it's, 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 it's no it's no bringing. It's gonna be fun out. For those of people that were, were not even arguing against me or just saying that. Uh, you don't think it'd be a mistake from Sony to release a final on a console? I don't think so. Uh, we paid four hundred dollars uh, for a pro, four point what, four point two T flop. Microsoft just sold the XS six T flops at you know I mean five hundred dollars. Um, here's the most thing: as long as when it comes out, I'm saying again, the games look better than anything that we had previously. Uh, that couldn't actually like, be done on previous hardware. It's you know it is what it is. Um, I don't. I mean, do you have a problem with Final House? All right, so I don't have like shit. I bought a PS3 at six hundred dollars. Worst mistake yeah. of my life. Mm -hmm. uh, but I did it though, right? Mm -hmm. But here's the thing: I, I, what, what, what people, most people, I ain't gonna say most people. Some people, I think us, we don't have a problem. The hardcore don't have a problem. Mm -hmm. The issue people want to talk about is how fast can you get this console down to three hundred dollars? Because that's where the user base blows up. That's where you know that's when developers start stop making cross gen and now making dedicated console here's games. The thing. Here's the thing. So um, it's gonna take a while to get to three hundred dollars. When did we, the first ooh, price drop come? Those are it, gonna be it went, what, what two and a half years in three years and went from four hundred to three fifty. For what? For the PS4. For the PS4, yeah, the first it um it dropped down to three fifty. And that was what two and a half years in or so? Two years. Yeah. Uh. uh and then fifty dollars every other year at that point. That that's when it started trickling down. So look at the map. So PlayStation, let's use PlayStation Four for example. Mm -hmm. It launched in two thousand thirteen, right? Yeah. Two thousand fourteen, it stood at three ninety nine, mm -hmm. right? And then in two thousand fifteen, it was three fifty. Two thousand sixteen, it was three hundred. And then hell, two thousand sixteen, they dropped it down to two fifty with the uh, Uncharted bundle. Remember that was that was like an MPD thing, right? Mm -hmm. And then last year we had two hundred, and this year we have two hundred. Now, if you launch at five hundred dollars, right? So you launch at five hundred dollars. A year later, it's probably going to still stay at five hundred dollars. Yeah. And then the year after, you're talking four fifty. And then the year after, four hundred. And then the year after, maybe three hundred. It's going to take a lot longer to hit that. You know, because you know, once you reach that three hundred and below, that's when sales take off. Oh, that. Yeah, yeah, but you know, good point. But the how you said the you know, the casuals, the mainstream. Then now here's the thing. What 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 the why I say maybe it was some kids the adaptation to this generation was kind of slow because they were still supporting older hardware. Yeah. Once yeah. third parties say, hey, that's it, cut the line, that's it. Motherfuckers that want to play their duty, whether they're cows or not, <laughs> they're gonna go out there and drop 54 if they, if they want to play that duty mat in 2K. So I think that that these, I think the casual knows that after seven years, after a generation, uh you're you're gonna be spending a hundred dollars more on the next console. I mean we spent what on a core system two ninety nine on the Xbox three sixty back in the day. I mean, mm -hmm. you know, it's it's just it's 
kind of logical that you would think that this new tech is going to require more money. I agree. I think I think it's going to be five hundred dollars because we're not going to get like bullshit laptop CPUs. I mean, I don't think I think this. I, I, don't, I, don't I think I think because there's really no other CPU really to use other than Ryzen. We're not Puma. Uh, we're not going to use that, that Puma. Puma's is not even an <laughs> processor. It's old as fuck. So I, I you know, and the thing is, Ryzen's already out. So it's not like they're building new technology. They're gonna take the current technology of Ryzen, and then they're gonna customize it to fit what they need, right? Mm -hmm. So I think five hundred. I think it's gonna have to be five hundred dollars. So I've, yeah, I've always said if the power is there, if it's worth the money, so be it. Buy it. I mean, oh, okay. Is, is, is it really okay? Okay. Wait, 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 here's a question. Okay. Hello. 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 For the super chat, thank you so much. He says a lot of what is being said. You're triggering Craig. <laughs> okay, let, me, let me ask you a question. It's <laughs> <laughs> more important, to you guys. Is it now? Now I'm gonna get my Nintendo put my put my Doctor Trey hat on the sun. Is it just about the power going forward? No. Is it about games evolving? It, like, what do you when you consider the next generation? Here's the thing: just like okay. every single generation, and even you know the Godfather of Xbox himself, Seamus Blackley, even said it himself: in the beginning of the generation, it's about the power because we expect something from the next generation, like 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 the Wii, like the Wii, right? A lot of the core gamers didn't like the Wii because it looked at like the PS2. Like, yeah. what did you do in reality? So the power gives us the glimpse of, you know, the type of games they're going to create, the type of worlds, physics, AI, all that shit, right? Exactly. But after a certain point, the talk is over. It's time to show us what this technology is. Uh, of course. Of course. It, it's, a the the day, it's, it's always about the games in the end. Yeah. That you, the, the power goes hand in hand with the games. It exactly. does. With innovation, you always need more power. So it, it, you're right. The start of the gen, that's where it should, it, it should start off, of course, with the power narrative. But... Um, you know, we're, we're looking at things into the future. I mean, a lot of people are into VR, even though I can't use it. A lot of people are into it. Like, you know, you need power for that. You need more power for, uh, you know, 4k, you need more power for 60 frames per second or higher, you know, and, and those are the things that I'm looking forward to. You know, I want more frames in my games. So the CPU has got to be, you know, a good CPU in this next console, which of course it will be, but, uh, I'm willing to pay $500 if I'm going to be able to play most, if not all my games at 60 frames. Yeah. So with the, with the, with the conversations I is trying to bring up, this is, this is where Xbox fuck. This is, this was just a bad gem for Microsoft. I mean, this is just a reality. So at the start of the gen, they weren't, they were trying to sell a multimedia device. Let's be, let's be honest. That's why Xbox one was, it was a multimedia device, right? At $500. Sony released a dedicated console because they got their ass kicked trying to sell a multimedia device. So Microsoft tried to do what Sony fucked up, you know. So apparently Microsoft wasn't paying attention to what happened with PS3. PS3 was a multimedia device. It was supposed to be the one all. I mean, you could you could install Linux on the motherfucker and use yeah. that. Computer. That's it was a multi. It was a pure design multimedia device which backfired. So Sony went with a pure dedicated console. That's all it's going to do, right? I mean, sure, you still have the Netflix app, but that's just, you know, a phone has a Netflix app. It's not that it's not a big achievement to have a Netflix app, right? Microsoft came out with a multimedia device for $500. Sony came out with a console for $400. And people wondered, why am I paying $500 for an Xbox when for Sony you could get superior version of multiplayer, right? Now, of course, the narrative people try to use was the game, right? The only problem is it's fucking rise. We ain't paying $500 for eyes. We're not doing that. We can look back. At, we, can now, we can be honest now. We could look back at the games that launched in the beginning of Xbox One. They weren't the big. They were AAA games, yes. But they were not big games. They were not your God of Wars. They were not your Halos. They were not your Spider-Mans. They were not your Horizon Zero Dawn. They were fucking Dead Rising, Scream Ride, and Rise. You know? When the one game that could have done it, Titanfall, it was on every other fucking device. <laughs> it was like, I could still play Titanfall and buy a PlayStation 4 and not miss out. So Microsoft had a bad messaging. By the time Microsoft fixed it with the Beast, it was four years later. At that point, the casuals taking over, the market's full of casuals, Sony's the most popular console, everybody just wants games now. Majority of the people are not rebuying Pros and Xbox One X. Only the hardcore. So graph, 4K graphics is actually a niche topic among the hardcore. Everybody else is on their vanilla shit, wondering where the fuck the game's at. 
You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Microsoft and Sony could both have it right from the start of the gen, pushing powerful technology, and then transition. The conversation will transition after a year or two into okay, you gave us the Ryzen, you gave us the Vega, you gave us whatever DDR6 or GDR6, whatever. Where are the games now? And I think Microsoft will do better at that. You know, put a rock. The, the, the problem this is where it's going to start with next gen, right? Because we saw it this gen. After you get over the whole power thing, you, you figure out, okay, well, it's really about who can take advantage of that power, who can show what the power can do. You got, I mean, look at the PlayStation games like God of War and Spider Man and shit. The, the, their game, their exclusives tend to look amazing uh, based on the, the little power that the systems have, you know, it being a weak console. So you're looking at the going from that perspective, and you give this system three, four, five times the amount of power. And if they show you sequels to those games or what those games can do, then I think the mind share is going to be like Sony just has an act for making these fucking amazing looking games, no matter what kind of power you give them. Well, I think now Microsoft has veteran talent. They hired veteran talent. Um, the only thing is we just don't have any game announcers for them. But we know based on their past experience and resume. They they work with companies that produce big games. I mean, they hired somebody from Rockstar. They hired people from Naughty Dog. So they do have people with experience, you know. So we can't judge the future of Xbox Scarlet with the past because you got new people on board. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It would be like you know, you got a new team with new stars. You, that's just it. It can't, it's just the reality right now. You, you got that, talent that's that's true, that's that's true, that's that's true. while that's true, they still got a lot to prove to me. They do have a lot to prove, but they got new talent. You know, it's kind of like it's kind of like you know, you know, a new sports team that has new veteran talent. You can't judge them off of the they were before. At, at this point, at this point, I've said this a lot. Um, I've already been sold a PS5 based on the games I know that's coming to that console. The based on the track record so far of Sony, mm -hmm. uh, I'm not sold on the Scarlet. I'm just not. Let me ask you. So, let me. This is a good question. I'm glad you brought that up. So Z, let me ask you something. Is, it? is there concern that for the first time Xbox is not carrying forward a new AAA franchise over to the next console? For example, the OG Xbox is yeah, that you. Know, you know what I'm talking about? A OG yeah. Xbox is oh. Halo, um, Forza, and Fable, right? And then they now those games moved over to the 360, so you had continuations of big AAA franchises. That's where the Halo 3 came out, Forza whatever and whatever and then 360 gears was a new franchise and it carried over to xbox one sure. xbox one's not carrying over anything there's no big new franchise on this platform and i, I mean you got indies like Ori and cuphead yeah you got no new triple a big blockbuster title that was created on xbox one and then it's now it's carrying over to scarlet do you have a concern that people be like i'm not sold on scarlet because you know, like like PlayStation, like Fran says, PlayStation Five, we sold on it because you got Horizon sequel. You're gonna get another Spider Man. You get the, new, war. get the new redesign. Got a war. You gotta get a PlayStation Five because you know what's coming. These new franchises and new ideas are carrying over. And then you know, Ghost of Tsushima if it's successful, Days Gone if it's successful, Death Stranding if it's successful. You got a lot of new big shit that you're gonna need a PS Five to play for. Xbox mm -hmm. One doesn't have that. Is there a concern that people be like, I'm not getting a Scarlet because there's nothing to carry over other than you being a Gears and Halo fan? Well, like I said, man, the only way, honestly, I mean, here's the thing. The only way, like I said, really to rem remedy that is that all we forgiven the same thing what Nintendo did is with the Switch and show what the games they want. You know what I mean? Look like this, right? Look how, and I'm, just, I'm, and I'm just looking at it as the, as the, as the glass being half empty, not even half, I mean half full. You see the success, or even the success Sony had with the PlayStation 2, right? Who would have thought they would have struggled under the way they did with the PS3, or how dominant the Wii was for them to come up with the Wii U and it, you know, fail, you know what I mean? And um, to be honest, I just I just chalk up the, the Xbox One. Um, didn't do as horrible as the Wii U, not by any means, uh, but as Microsoft's failed generation to remedy all that, you know what I mean? Yeah. They have to be there day and date with the games. Yeah. No more holding clothes, cars close to your chest. Because I mean, I'll be honest with you, gamers, if they show up with the games, 
That's all that really matters. Not what happened last generation, just that and the other. We're in a new generation. Right. You know what I mean? Like you said they got new talent and new people who are hitting stuff. And again, all that shit sounds good on paper. I understand. But if they show up with the games, I and mean, will we really be have oh man, what happened seven years? Remember what the Xbox one? Who fucking talk about that? You know, new yeah. talking points, you know what I mean? It'd be something else, you know what I mean? So long as they show with the games, that's all they got to do. Exactly. You know? I've always said that if they show one huge game that appeals to the masses, that's all it takes. I hope it's more time. than one. I hope it's more than one. I hope I they show that. You know. but, but if they show one big game that everybody wants to play, they're going to buy that console for that game. You know, if it's yeah. a seller, they're going to buy it. Yeah, that's true. And oh, another thing, they got to go on back. What made the 360 so popular was so with, with the third party deals. They got to all that. They don't think is all that. Phil talking about. He don't think it's healthy for gaming and to keep stuff. Nah, fuck, bro. What are you doing, bro, 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 bro? Like I said, that's that double agent shit. Don't worry, worry about your own. Worry about your own right here. You know that's I mean? one thing. He doesn't need to be the Dalai Lama. Just worry about your piece of the pie in gaming. And believe me, gaming will be fine. Stuart Stokes is like an RPG. When you level up, you want to see and feel the difference. And the exclusives are new skills. Xbox has leveled down from the 360. All right. And the Juan Almighty. Uh, Sony is gambling, including VR with PS5. The price will be 400 without it. Which will put in a position to repeat or exceed the success of the PS4. So now I got so after I made a video, good point. So I found out what the breaker box is. So the breaker box in the PSV um PSVR and shit is actually not an accelerator. It doesn't do anything with power. The reason why the reason why they had the breaker box was because of the HDMI and all that shit. Yes. So so the the box the box the box has no CPU component whatsoever. It's basically like a capture card almost for the VR. Um, is what it can show up on your TV. Screen. Yeah, that's all it is. Yeah, it's, it's that's all it is. It's like yeah. a splitter. It's a it's a glorified splitter. It so, has no CPU, no GPU. It's not like the Wii. Yeah. It's not like the Switch docking station. It's not expensive at all. They said they said yeah, the only yeah. reason why was because the console wasn't built with the outputs to yeah. run it to your TV property. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. this is not so it's yeah. not that. So it's not a hundred dollars worth of component. That was my concern because yeah. I thought it was an accelerator shit. It's yeah, not. Yeah. They said the PS4 yeah. is natively running VR on its you, own. You and I, Porter Rock, were concerned with that. And I, I was yeah. asking some people about it. Then they told me the same thing. And I go, okay, good. I'm yeah. relieved because I didn't want uh, PlayStation to force something like that upon somebody who can't use VR yeah. or doesn't want to use VR, you know, and have them pay for it. I, yeah. I didn't want that. So that's that's null now. We don't have to worry about that. Price. Yeah, it's a, yeah, so yeah, so we don't have to worry about that. That breaker box, it's a breaker box. That's all it is. It's like it's like no different than you buying a HDMI switch port. Yeah. So you you know what I'm saying? So you know, it's it's really they said it's not really expensive. Uh, mm -hmm. Carlos Crespin, MS is just happy with a participation trophy. Well, they need to stop that. <laughs> well, well, Z said that to himself. He says they're just cool with a participation trophy, just as long as they're the ones making it. Yeah. No, I don't think so. I, I think they want to be. I've been saying this for many months now. I think they want to be their name synonymous with gaming. I think they want to be everywhere. They want the Xbox brand anywhere, anyway, to be everywhere. Even if it's not pushing their own exclusive games, just at pushing games out in general. They just they want, want their name in gaming. They want their yeah, they want their name out there, and they want to seek that revenue that they can get from being put on several devices and stuff like that. That's what really they're after. Um, the exclusive games and stuff. Yeah, sure, they're going to come. To what extent, um, how good they're going to be, who knows? It's anybody's guess at this point, but they've got some real good players on board. It's just that I need to see the proof for, for myself, you know, before I pick up that Scarlet. I you know what? Yeah. Your point is a good segue into the next topic, which is Spider-Man. So now here's things. So now let's look at Sony, right? Clearly, Sony wants to sell their consoles, right? That's their, that's their main focus. We got a console. We have to sell it, right? It's no secret that... Sony always plans to release a Spider-Man bundle for the holidays. It's the biggest, it's probably the hottest item I've seen in a long time selling. That shit's selling by the fucking cart load, right? Okay. Microsoft's vision. They're their focus. Do you guys think that Xbox Scarlet will have the same level of focus Sony has for their console? Or do you think Microsoft's focus is their services, meaning Game Pass? We need to make games for Game Pass. And Scarlet, PC, and phones will just benefit from our vision of what we want to do with Game Pass. What do you guys think is Microsoft's thing? Like, what is their, what do they have their sights set on? Uh, Matt Booty, didn't he say something about 
they were going to really go full bore into game pass. So that's what they're doing. Mid-tier, you said, what do you say? Mid tier games? Yeah, the, the double, the, that's what they're, they're doubling down basically on mid tier double A games. Uh, that's where they want to be. That's why they buying the studios that they're buying. Um, yeah. The teams are typically, uh, you know, 40 to 50 people. And they want to deliver a bunch of great games that they can have on Game Pass and uh, port to mobile. And they're trying to reach that 2 billion user install base that some kind of way they're going to grab. So let me let me ask Z this this question for Z and Fonzarelli. All right. And the reason why, because you guys, I would say you're closer to the spectrum. Z definitely close to the spectrum of Xbox and Fonz. I think you're closer to the spectrum of Xbox than most of us. So let me ask you. Let me ask you guys this scenario. What if for next gen? The big AAA games that you get is pretty much Gears, Halo, Forza, and Fable with Playground, right? Those are your big blockbuster AAAs, right? And all your new games, your new IPs from the new studios are AA, single-A titles that come out every two to three years for the intent of supporting Game Pass. So that way they could build a library. What is your opinion if that's Microsoft's strategy? Well, listen, and to be fair, I mean, I don't know if you're fair. Uh... If they want Game Pass to succeed, to be honest with you, to be a, you know, I'm just going by it's a basic business, basic business one on one. If they want this this service to be successful, they don't need more than just, I say, straight to blockbuster, straight to DVD type games. You know what I mean? They're gonna need more than just the state of the case or games like Sea Thieves. You know what I mean? For everyone's like I said to really catch on, um, I would hope in a perfect world. Um, that they, you know, they got, they do have what's called the interactive initiative. You know, I mean, that's supposed to be, you know, quadruple A. So we can uh, hopefully uh, expect a, 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 a something to the level of gears, fours, and halo from those guys outside of Fable, right? Yeah, that's another one. And then they brought somebody else. I forgot. Um, so again, but the, you know, from what's the Undead Labs? Yes. Uh, Compulsion Gaming. Uh, yes. Uh, uh, what's the one that just came out? It's what Turtle Ninja Rock? Theory. Also, I know this is not uh, that's that's the wild card. You know what I mean? They could, they could, because they yeah. made big blockbuster AAA games before. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah that's the wild. With Heavenly Sword. Um, so they made. Really, they they don't really do games like you know what I mean, like State of the Caves or the Sea of Thieves. You know what I mean? I would like to see what they do with with, with some money behind them. But if what you're saying is their vision, then no, that's no, it's it's very disappointing. Okay. I mean, okay, well, what about like you, Fon? Games say, like what you're naming, they do have they 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 say they need their yeah their place in gaming. I'm not knocking those that, but we're getting we're getting that now. We an, an abundance of those games right now. <laughs> what from Microsoft, you know, is the meat and the potatoes of AAA games. You know what I mean, yeah. yeah. Well, I think that you know, with players like um, even Obsidian, um, Ninja Theory, and of course with the uh, initiative. I think that we may see some big AAA games from those studios, but from all the others, uh, they're they're AA studios, they're indie studios all the way. I can see them just feeding Game Pass, um, and that, that's not to say that they're going to make bad games. They could be great games for Game Pass, but at the same time, it's not going to sell consoles. You know, um, it's going to sell Game Pass. If I can play Game Pass on a phone, eventually, you know, I can play those games there. But as far as um, those those big three, I, I think they could uh, produce some good good games for Xbox. And all it hey. takes is you know those game the one two games to really sell those Xbox. So how about this, Fonz? Or, or, or even to the panel, I mean, we, we were that. I, if their only mission in life or their goal is for Game Pass or Xbox Live to be successful, you know, you see you can play, you can have Game Pass instead on your phones instead of the other. But if they want to sell consoles, this this that's the you know, if they still care about like this is selling the hardware, I mean, you know, on that tip, you know, I mean, because let's be honest, they these companies make the less money on the hardware, they make money on software. But if they want to sell the console, the hard, you know, I mean, the the actual box itself, they have to give it some value. You know, what I mean, that's, to- that's why. But that's why they're picking up so many different companies to make the software because they that's what they they, they want to do. They want to push their services with all this new software to be selling first party. And make all this money, rake all this money in. The, um, the, the consoles are secondary in in their uh, their whole scheme here. Um, the, the the consoles aren't on uh, their priority at all anymore. It's just not sure that they they still want to put them out there for the for the gamers and the hardcore and stuff like that. 
Um, but if there ever came a day, say, where the masses, uh, the masses of gamers decided that, hey, they're willing to just play these games on another device or even PC and that's it, then, yeah, I could see them stop making consoles at that point. But that's a long time coming. I really think that they're, they're, they're fine with what they're trying to do. They just got to come with the games. They got to they, they gotta come with some good games to just appeal to people. Shout out to Ruham. Super Chase says, grand opening and cool. Hey. What good, guys? Man, what's up? What's up, man? Appreciate you rocking out. Okay. All right. So last topic, unless you guys want to brought up, Spider-Man Bundle. Um, I think, shit, maybe we talked about this a long time ago, whatever. You know, during the days of talking about Spider-Man, that it would be crazy for Sony not releasing a bundle <coughs> during the biggest, you know, gaming month of shopping, whatever. Yeah. But apparently it's like getting out of hand. Like it's like being sold out everywhere. Okay. Um, do you guys find it? Let's be honest. We haven't talked about who's going to win November MPD this month. Like I'll be honest. Usually we be all over this motherfucker. This yeah. is the first time where even I don't even talk about it much. Like you don't, you don't even see tweets about info scout, or who sold the most in Best Buy? You you remember that shit, Z? Like everybody's tracking that shit. Is it pretty much? Did the gaming community pretty much accept PlayStation is gonna be number one, and everybody really don't give a fuck? Is it kind of like the NBA? Everybody knows Golden State is gonna win the finals, so it's like whatever the fuck. Like who gives a fuck? Like really? Like it's gonna it's Golden State. Like really? Is it? Are we at that that point where everybody's like whatever? PlayStation got it. Who gives a fuck? I think the gamers and the industry in a whole has come to terms. Uh, there's there's a handful of people on Twitter and YouTube that still think that there's a chance for Xbox <laughs> <laughs> release the Megaton and change change everything around. But you know, for the most part, it is what it is. I mean, what did Microsoft do? Like somebody told me they 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 released another Minecraft bundle. Is yeah, that true? Yeah. yeah. Minecraft? Yeah. yeah it's a 13 year old goddamn game. <laughs> <laughs> they say got the world's most powerful color. God <laughs> like, damn it, Red. God damn it. You know, they told me that like, oh, trying to sell Minecraft bundles. I'm like, wait a minute. Well, like, what are you talking about? They're like, yeah, like that's what Microsoft's offering. Minecraft special edition bundles for Black Friday. I'm like, oh my God, these dudes. Yeah. Well, well, think of, think about it, Puerto Rock. What other game would they bundle? Listen, well, you don't have to one other. What I would have done, this is what I would have done. done. $150 Xbox One S with Forza Horizon 4 and like a multi plat. Yeah, but they're to remember they're trying to push Game Pass, so they don't necessarily. Okay, so Forza Horizon for $150 Xbox One S, Forza Horizon 4, and a year of Game Pass. Yes, see, th this is what I don't understand. This is what I understand. They're trying to sell Game Pass. They should have made a, a Xbox One S, like you said, drop the price down. I, I say $150 at this point yeah. in time. Um, and, and, and on the front of the cover, you slap every game that's in game game pass all around the box and say, look, you got this box. It has over 150 games in the box built in. Just buy this shit and we'll give you a year worth of service. And call it $150 Xbox One S, one year game pass, one year Xbox Live Gold. That tells you. That tells you that to 200 games. Yeah. With a snap of a finger, like Thanos. Boom. You buy 150 bucks, you take it home, create your account, you're good. You don't even have to buy a game. You don't have to buy anything because all the games are there. But why do you think they didn't do that, Puerto Rock? Why do you I, think they I, didn't do that? You know, because they're retarded. I don't know. I would have done that. 150 Xbox One S because you're only doing it for one day. 150 Xbox One S, one year Game Pass, one year Xbox All included. You literally buy a box and you have 200 games with new ones. You got Gears, you got Halo, Forza Horizon 4. Fallout, you got all this shit. Yeah, one hundred fifty dollars. That would have sold like a motherfucker. I don't know. Maybe, maybe they're waiting to E three to drop the price to one forty nine. Yeah, wait for E three. <laughs> all right. So, um, final note. I guess the latest latest news. Uh, we'll just talk about our opinion. So, the agent. I guess the trademark has been canceled. It hasn't been renewed. Um, little backstory for everybody to know. Agent was a project that um that Sony and Rockstar. Where to do um due to the trade negotiations of Grand Theft Auto 4. So as I said before, Grand Theft Auto 4 was supposed to be a timed exclusive, just like all the other ones, but because PlayStation 3 was selling bad and 360 was actually 
you know, the game, the console where people were buying the most games, Rockstar was not comfortable releasing a game of this high budget exclusively on PlayStation 3. They wanted it the same day and day on 360. Sony agreed, but with the concession that they get a new IP, a new AAA IP from Rockstar with timed exclusive deal. That game was supposed to be Agent, which was announced, I think, in 2009 mm-hmm. on Sony 3. They didn't show the game or nothing. They just said, hey, new project, the Agent from Rockstar. But since that announcement has never been talked about again. So now where it's on the street is the trademark for the Agent has not been renewed. So now Rockstar doesn't own that title. So a lot of speculation. Uh, does that mean the deal off? Does Sony and Rockstar have a new deal? Of course, you got the bot community trying to say this is worth the scale bound. Z, what the- <laughs> is this on the level of scale bound cancellation? Um, maybe for at that time, not for now. I mean, who the fuck? Most people don't know what the fuck the agent is, bro. Exactly. <laughs> I mean, maybe for at that time when the PS3 and 360 was going on, yeah. Yeah. Who the fuck really knows what the fuck agent was? Okay. Yeah. They didn't show no gameplay or nothing. We like we didn't know what it is yet. Ain't even about no. the gameplay. It's just the bad fact that we talking about a generation ago. Like, yeah. Who, uh, who yeah, the fuck? Let me ask me. Who's yeah. we talking about scale bound next generation? Going with some new shit. Yeah. Like, that's they, they weren't showing fourteen minute trailers of the game two weeks before it was canceled. Mm-hmm. Yeah, scale but scale bound was a game for this game. You you remember when I started my channel? That was supposed to be my unboxing. I was gonna get like a special edition scale bound if they would have made it. Well, I was like, well, that didn't happen. But I got my RAM video. That shit blew me up. You know what I'm saying? So I guess, was, I guess, I guess was, uh, you know, 250K? You know, that was my, you know, I guess that's what I mean. Scale my cancellation fucking gave me my first 8,000 view video. You know, who would have fucking thought, right? Mm-hmm. Well, all right. So that's it. Anybody want to talk about anything? Or are we closing shop? Oh, uh, no. PUBG coming to the PlayStation. Oh, man, I don't yeah. want that dog shit. <laughs> wait, 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 a whole year to play that shit. It's like great. Xbox <laughs> exclusive, baby. Let, let, let me be the first. Uh, thing, Greg. Don't, uh, well, don't look to the game, bro. I've, I've got the tweet saved from last year. So all these people that are on a market now, they better get ready. I learned how to do that screenshot thing. Oh, no. Okay. Here we go. They were saying oh, Xbox really exclusive and biggest game ever. It's so, true. Uh, it's you true. Know. Yeah. It's and now it's on the superior console. That's, so superior. that's a big deal. Well, a big deal. I, uh, I think I got like we, we all predicted this. Fines all day. We all did. Once Call of Duty comes out with Black Op, fuck everything else. Oh, no, well, it's, 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 it's know, coming out. Got the physical edition of Hellblade coming, a first party Microsoft Studio launching their game on PlayStation. This is big news, guys. It's big news. Be a message, Craig. That's the truth. I said big Microsoft. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Hellblade, I mean, the, the game is still on the contract, you know, it's still a PlayStation game. That, well, see, but you, all right, you know that Marvel, when they bought Fox, Fox had, still had movies that they could have came out with, but Marvel canceled them. Microsoft could have canceled this physical copy of Hellblade coming to PlayStation. They did. That would, that would be ridiculous. I, I'm I'm going to warn everybody now on PlayStation. If you've not played PUBG on Xbox, it's a mess. Um, <laughs> Blue Hole are terrible developers. That it seems like they don't know how to make a game to save their lives. Terrible. Okay. They got PUBG. Uh, what are those things called? Bundles. So it's, it's a yeah, terrible yeah. bundle. It's terrible. It's a terrible game. Okay. You know, blackout, man. We you know smooth 60 frames. Fucking J Dub got us in a fucking bathroom one time. <laughs> I'm like, just like, like everybody run into the bathroom. All like, <laughs> all right, I don't think this is a good tactic. Like, this, this is not something we'll do in the middle. Of the don't worry, Port Rock. We got this. I'm like, all right. Just, <laughs> they open the bitch, shoot. I'm like, okay. <laughs> oh, so they're, fucking, they're throwing Molotovs and the whole place got on fire. I'm like, man. <laughs> hey, hey, we came in second place. That's all I got. Right. Like, you mean Black Ops? <laughs> yeah. Black Ops. Black Ops. I'm, yeah. I'm feeling Battlefield too, man. It is gold. It is gold. Yeah. Yeah. You got, you got Battlefield? I didn't buy that. Yeah, this ain't Battlefield. Ain't bad, man. Oh, you know, I'm ready to do them shooters, but I, I, I'm not going yeah. to them, man. Battle Royale like, comes out in March, though. So, did you guys see that Call of Duty curb stomped um, Red Dead? Did you guys think that was going to happen? 
Kurt, how longer and it's on three platforms yeah i i, I predicted that uh, call of duty would beat anything red they only had like three days on the chart yeah yeah they're ready to catch it or, or at least stay with it i but just don't think they got, they, they, they they red dead will have the legs for grand theft auto 5. exactly yeah. if it was grand theft auto 6 if that was grand theft auto 6 it'd be a different story but yeah. I don't think I don't think Red Dead's gonna have to play. Turn it down. Sorry. Yeah, I don't even think that the online service for Red Dead is really gonna be as lucrative as Grand Theft Auto Five was. I, I just I don't see it. I don't see people really gravitating to. I think it's because uh, Western. You know, everybody wants that gangster shit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, yeah I mean, and I love Red Dead. Too. Am I lying? Everybody wants to make caves. They want to fucking drive around in yeah. a Lamborghini and do drive-bys. No more fucking exactly. wants to do from a horse. Exactly. <laughs> hey, see, I, hey, I don't mind it. I love it, but yeah. I'm just one person. Yeah. Right? Everybody wants to hear hip-hop music and fucking gangbang. Yeah. That's just the reality. That's why I made Grand Theft Auto Five. It was like living in Compton without actually dying. <laughs> So you want to see game breaking sales and shit like uh wait till Grand Theft Auto 6 comes out one day. That thing is gonna it's gonna be bonkers, yeah. man. Yeah. See you in 2025. It'll come out on a PlayStation 6 or some shit. Yeah. All right. But anyway, I think we could cut it out. We could cut it the show here. Um uh thank you for rocking out with us, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um yeah, you know what I'm saying? You know, oh you're lying eyes. But anyway, Oh, you lying eyes. I want to say, hey, I want to say, the ones upstairs. Hey, these no can moderation. You know, you know, motherfucker said, see, Cook is even lighter than me. I don't know what's upstairs. The little ones are upstairs. Hey, I'll say, a heartfelt thank you to Z for showing up, but for sure, for sure, for sure. Hey, fans, all day. J Dub Craig for forming up the crew again. Um, so give y'all parting shouts out. <coughs> I like to thank white Jesus, Chinese Jesus. You and- you got you got the screen cream. You got the, you saw that shit that <laughs> moved yeah. it. Oh my god! Oh, man. Come on, man, show me. <laughs> Oh, he went after the worst fan base. Yeah. Don't go after them. Don't go after black people. Oh, 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 yeah, that, yeah, man. Yeah. I, you know, I, I think smooth smooth. Oh, my God. Smooth was like, in your hair, but if you keep acting black, no one's going to like you. I'm like, oh, not like this, smooth. I think he really been on some real shit though. Smooth, what the fuck he be doing? Smooth wants some Levine. Ha! This is Levine Casey. He wants some shit like that. He know what the fuck he out there doing. Oh, oh. <laughs> you, know you saw that backlash of oh, court got for fucking Levine Casey. Levine dropped another video. Hey, listen, if you guys will support me, here's a link to my PayPal. Love. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, <laughs> what the fuck going on? Yo, but fuck it's smooth, bro. I'm like, oh, black Twitter's gonna come out. Somebody, yeah, yo, he know what he doing. somebody posted this thing. They're like, black Twitter, get at him. I'm like, oh, this guy's gonna have like a hundred thousand black Twitter dudes coming after him. Oh, no, he know what he's no, he doing, though. He do that shit for shop value. Anyway, I'm gonna come out and say some dumb shit like that. <laughs> I don't even think D crap game will come out and say some shit like that. Like, that's just me. <laughs> that's that's you call you know, that? shop value. You know what I mean? So what makes you ashamed of being black? <laughs> <laughs> this is this this smooth second episode of one week. And the white boy about to run down on him. Come on his live stream, threatening to beat the shit out of him. You know, you know, one dude was talking to me. He's like, "Yeah, man, we brothers, we give Latinos props, but yeah, we hate on our own black sisters." I'm like, "Have you ever got cursed out by a black sister?" <laughs> <laughs> like she like a lie woman. They'll curse you out, but they do it to assert themselves. Hmm. Black woman. They, they're making you feel like shit. I'm like, oh, shit, bro. They make you rethink life. <laughs> like, yeah. like, what are you thinking? Like, bro, but anyway, when I took the show, thank you so much for rocking out with us. This is 60 Frames No Luck. Uh, no Luck. Blah, blah. You know what the fuck this show is. Mm-hmm. On Sunday, we're going to do Digital Street. Hmm? We want to do another game. Oh, shit. No, no, right, no. That's it. We out here. Peace. 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 Later. Okay.